Hey everyone, my name is Paul DC. I'm a lead character modeler working in the animation industry. Uh, today I want to show you a function within ZBrush that I use on a regular basis in the studio uh, that helps with doing blend shapes. This is something that will allow you to move or deform a mesh and record it within a layer that can be dialed in and out. So what we want to do is for a full facial expression, what we'll usually do is create what's called macro expressions, which is part of an expression. So you have say an angry face where you might have the brow down, the lips corners down, maybe the nose flares and the eyelids close a little bit. So you would have there's your macro expressions is your brow down, your mouth corners down, a nose flare, all that's three layers and then an upper lid down, a lower lid up, all in separate layers. And then you can combine them because you'll also want to say, for example, have a happy face, in which case you'll have cheek up, cheek up expression. And you'll also need that lower lid up to follow up with the cheek. So um, for this example, you can see I've got this character here. And uh, this is a work in progress character and it's um, conducive to just show you how this how this is gonna work. So I wanted to make an expression on this guy's face. You can see I've got some subdivisions here so I can sculpt into this a little bit more. But what I did was I, I created the, I sculpted the head and I did a quick retopo on it, which you can see here. And this didn't take long. I then, if I go back, you can see I've got a previous version of the file. Now this is the same character, but the face completely neutralized. And you can see how different that looks. Um, your facial expression uh, is, is, a, is key to, to any character. It uh, gives them life. So here you can see his, his um, entire face is neutral. Obviously the, the body is in a pose. This is before I posed it. But I've created some layers here and they've got as I explained, macro expressions. So you can see we've got mouth up. You can see how I can just dial them in and I can dial them in anywhere in between. So we've got mouth wide, got mouth corner up, got the lower eyelid down, sorry, the upper eyelid down, the lower eyelid up. We've got a corrective here, which I'll show you now how that works. Uh, you can see it doesn't make any sense on its own, but it will now in a second. And then uh, we've got the brow up. Now, these blend shapes, of course, are just to help me to land a shape or an expression that I want for this particular character. In production, it's slightly different. Obviously, the technicalities of the process uh, need to be adhered to. So um, for brow up, it would be the, the brow would stay flat and you'd raise the whole thing up. And then within the rig, you would split that into different parts so the animators can shift the angle of the brows whatever way they want. Um, so I'm gonna show you how here we can create a new layer and add a new expression. So you'll see it it's it turns black, but you can quickly just fill the layer and uh, that'll take that away. And now we're gonna create, just real quickly, the mouth corner down. So you've seen the mouth corner up, it's the same thing, just in reverse, obviously. So we're just gonna pull these down real quick. And uh, ZBrush is great for this because obviously the brushes are that we all know and love are fantastic for creating these nice organic shapes. Uh, obviously you've got um, the option for masking which helps a lot. And um, another thing is morph the morph target system within function within within ZBrush helps with this a lot and I'll show you how that is now. So now we've pulled this down. We can just name that mouth corner down. Cool, so we'll zero that. And now let's say 
you are doing uh, your blend shapes within another software because you know you've got your your pipeline where your your rigging and animation and so on is done so you've done some shapes in that other software so you can export assuming that you're you're using the same mesh of course uh, you can export that from that other software you can create a new layer just fill that again pull this down you see the untitled layer here while the record is on you just want to go up to import and now we have Robbie Brow down this guy is a bank robber so his name is Robbie Banks um, so here you can see we've got the brow down macro expression so if I want to say pull this brow down a little bit more let's dial this out for a second now we've got the neutral face again we can go down to morph target and I already had one stored there so it'll look like this when you go down to it store the morph target go back to your layers dial in your brow down we can name it brow down real quick hit enter hit record and now we're going to edit this shape a little bit so say you want to pull the inside down a little bit more and you can see as I'm doing this now I could use a mask of course um, which might help but using our morph target we can pull stuff down a little bit and then I can go in I can mask out around that eye and now I can just go to our if I go B M you can see the morph brush here so O and now I can paint out where I don't want this layer to affect and what that's doing is it's actually painting back in that neutral pose that we start so I can close it back into the eyelid a little bit and just smooth this dial it back smooth it in and then again because I want these things to work together I can go up I can dial in our upper eyelid down hit record again on my brow down and now I'm editing remember I'm, I'm, I'm record on the brow down so I'm only editing the brow down and then I can just smooth here pull this up make it a bit straighter and we've got the two things working together so you can see if I dial this out I've only got that So the upper eyelid, even though we had that dialed in, the upper eyelid is completely unaffected because we weren't recording on that. So this allows you to have to also combine. And you can see this is where correctives come in, where we have the mouth wide and then the mouth corner up, which combine together because again they've been done separately so when you combine them together you can see that we're getting a little bit of a problem with a pinch here so what we do is we create a new layer and that's going to be our corrective so we like I did with the eyelid I dial in the two layers and now instead of editing one of them because I want them to work on their own I create a new layer which will be the corrective with those two layers dialed in at the same time and hit record on the corrective layer the new layer and so you can see here I have smile wide corrective which is where I've done this and you can see I just fixed that with that layer on 
and now I've created my corrective. So now these shapes can work together. So this allows you to create a multitude of different expressions. So I could create this smile with say the brow, let's say the brow down. We can pull that upper eyelid down and give him that kind of sinister look. So there's another different kind of expression. Of course, you can add more and more, the more you, you need. I can also move the mouth up slightly. Um, or you can in fact go into minus if I want to move it down. So that's also handy to remember. Um, I could also pull the mouth in and have something in the middle. Or the same any of these whatever I want in the middle. So let's say, because I've do, done all these separately, I can also have, for example, I can widen that mouth. I can use our uh, mouth corner down a little bit. And I could raise the eyebrow, brow up, and maybe take that lower eyelid down a little bit and the upper one a little bit bit of a squint so he looks like he's kind of about to cry so now I have a combination of multiple different ones and I can add as I need for this for for production you'll have a set amount of blend shapes that need to be corrected so you can cover whatever expression is required by the an by animation um, so for for this function you can also go over to the blend shapes here so I just want to neutralize everything I can just turn off all under the Z plugin you have Maya blend shapes I can just turn off all and um, this will allow me now to create um, whatever expression I need so say it was the, let's get something close to what I have in the other one uh, we've got the brow up and the lower eyelid up a little bit and we had the mouth open which I haven't added here but you know as I said you can add as many as you need as many as you want and once you have something that you're happy with if this is something where you're adding um, or editing a blend shape that you've got for a production um, situation where you're, you're, you want to add some um, like flesh out a blend shape a little bit better this is great for for that and I recommend it I do that all the time um, and for for this particular example say I have this and now I can hit bake all and now this is now part of the mesh so now I can go in I can add some subdivision levels and this is my facial expression I can go in and I can and um, sculpt into this and do whatever I want. So I hope that's helpful. Uh, enjoy making some facial expressions on your characters and until next time. Thanks.